Hi everyone. So in this video, we will learn how you can compare two strings in JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have a basic HTML structure here. Link to a style sheet. Add the script file at the end. That is script.js. We need one container div. And it will have one button. Text will be show. And there will be h1 element and text will be output so basically on the click of this button will show the result here whether these strings are equal or not save it go to style sheet select the body element text line will be center select the container and display will be inline block save it Open this file in the browser and this is the output. Let's start working on the script file and select these two elements. So it will be Betty and show. It will be output and we'll select the H1 element here. We need two strings. So let's make it A, B, C, D. Just copy and paste it. Make it string two. Let's add event listener to this button. Event will be click. And this will be the handler function. To compare these two strings, we'll make use of local compare method. This method will return three possible values, minus one, zero, and one. If it returns zero, that means both the strings are equal. So let's make it result, str1.localCompare, and we'll compare with the string two. We'll set the inner text for the output. So if the result is equal to zero, the text will be equal otherwise not equal now save it go to browser click and this is the output let me modify this and make it a b c e save it go to browser click and it's not equal now why this function is returning minus one zero or one so behind the scene this function is sorting these two strings in a lexicographical order. So in that order, if string 1 comes before string 2, we'll get minus 1. If it comes after the string 2, we'll get 1. If they are equal, we'll get 0. You can simply do a Google search to learn more about the lexicographical sorting order. But I will try to explain in a simple language. So here, you can see A is compared with the A, B is compared with the B, C is compared with the C, and D is compared with the E. So in this order, D comes before the E. So this will return minus one. Let me prove it to you. So let's make use of console log here. And let's log the result. Save it, go to browser. Open the console window. Now when you will click, you'll get minus one. Now as I said, D comes before E. That's why the string one will always be before string two in the sorting order. If I'll make it E and D goes here, then string one will come after string two. And that's why we'll get one instead of minus one. Just save it, go to browser, click, and this is the output. So this video is basically not about explaining how lexicographical order works. You can simply Google it to learn more about it. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.